Hey guys, Blocktimus Mine here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a chicken coop. This is my own personal design. I uh, tried to search for other videos online showing you how to make one, but they were all um, redstone type contraptions. This is a more traditional style that I found. And for this project you're going to need 24 wool, 31 fence posts, 19 oak wood planks, 34 wood slabs, 5 glass, 1 wooden door, 3 rails, 16 trap doors, and 2 oak wood stairs. And this here is the finished product. Look around there. little fence area for them to crawl around in. This is the ramp that I added in. And you can come inside and you can hatch them out of the eggs in here or whatever. But we'll go ahead and I'll show you how to build it. So you're going to start with the um, fences, fence posts for the legs. Place one, and you're going to leave three spaces in between, and it's going to be a perfect square all around. So just leave three spaces in between each one, like so, and then you're going to build on top of the fence posts. around the square. Just like that. So now you should have this. Basically just the ground level. And you're going to take some oak wood slabs and place them along the bottom. brings you down a bit. Okay, now for the walls, you're going to need the wool. And we will place it too high on the corners. Like so. And you're going to want to leave an opening right here for the door. Well, anyway, any direction really that you want it to face. The middle block will be left open. So build it like so. And then once you build, build it kind of like that L shape all the way around. Like that. Then you can kind of decide which way it's going to face. So we'll have it facing this direction here. We'll take out the glass. This is going to be the way that they leave. And we'll put this and that into the two windowed areas. And we will place our door on the outside of here. Just so it runs flush with the wall. Otherwise, if you place it on the inside, it'll run flush with the inside of the structure. Which doesn't look too bad, actually. But just for the sake of the video, we'll place it here. And then you're going to want to cap it off with the roof. With the rest of your half slabs. So then we have the basic structure laid out. Not looking too bad. And we're going to want to be able to get into that door, so we're going to use our stairs. <laughs> I hate when they do that. Place a set of stairs, and directly underneath it, we'll place a plank and some stairs. Perfect. So now we can 
can get in. And uh, coming out of this here, yeah, we're going to place a block there. Yeah, I think that's all we need. There's just I have to go check. And no, just to make I guess that's just to make sure that they don't sink around back there. Perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna build the fence to <clears throat> which holds them in. So we're gonna take what will be the rest of our fences on creative mode, so this stuff doesn't deplete, which is good, because that way you can see how much of it you need to have. And then we build upwards. To You can make this as far out as you want, really. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And eight on this side. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. And we'll close it up. I don't put a gate here, but you can. You can do whatever you want. And this looks all nice, but I kind of like the slope this here. Now, this is important to do, that this top rail right here, animals do not like to walk on rails at all. And I'll show you proof of this. They do not like to walk on rails. Any animal. Whether it's cow, chicken, sheep. See that? Okay. They do not like to walk on the rails, so it kind of acts like a fence. But aesthetically, um, when you want this slope here to kind of look like the, um, the ramp, you're going to have to take this rail out and it will still stay sloped, but this will add the function they'll be able to come out. And I will demonstrate this. We don't need the rails anymore. And we'll get... We'll get chicken spawner. And we'll throw a couple of chickens in there. And then we'll switch this up for some... See. No, no, there, see. Yeah, they come out. It's all good. But if that rail was there, they wouldn't. I figured that one out. Anyway, and this pretty much is just the completed um, chicken coop. And now you just add in your aesthetics. Like throw some of the rest of your fence that you have just along the side as a rail. And then you take your 16 trapdoors. And you place them around and close them. It doesn't matter if they go on the top or the bottom, as you can see. Oh. There we go. One thing I found about this the trap doors for the aesthetics is sometimes the chickens will jump on them right there and they could come over there but if you want you could just take those ones off like that but I like to keep them on but yeah that is um, my chicken coop my own design that I made and I hope you liked it thanks for watching <laughs>